and prayed. My cousin Mandira, who's a lawyer now, was there. We prayed the power of God fell. Oh God, in the classroom, break time, we went out. In the class, it continued. It was like a tingling and a glory and the cloud of God was over us. We went and took it into the music room at Prince William High School. Their revival broke out. People were getting saved. The power of God was falling. It came upon them at lunchtime. We went next class. I went and next the Holy Ghost said, continue it. I began in Prince William. Hallelujah. Oh God. And, and begin to pray. This was like 2000. And in the classroom, oh God, people were being slain in the classroom. The Holy Ghost told me, the only thing I can remember, the Lord reminded me, but many here. Hallelujah. I call a young person up. I lay hands on them and the Lord said, blow on them. When I blow, they begin to stumble back under the power and the glory of God. It was so powerful. I shared with Kevin Johnson. He's a bishop in Tennessee now. His brother is Kendall Johnson. And he began to see and they began to record the testimony, the Vaughn is one. Hallelujah. It was so powerful. I went to my family. I began to tell them about the power of God that happened. My grandmother and family. I went to Bishop Ross and I shared it in the church that Sunday of how the power of God moved with shines when this a miracle. Shout glory. 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 No one can tell me about no miracle. I have seen the supernatural outpouring of the glory of God in tangible ways. Yeah. While in, in that same school, huh, that year before, a young lady huh, was demon possessed. Huh. Oh God. Huh. And they cut and they took in the room. Huh. I had just come out of assembly. All I heard was this ruckus. Huh. The Holy Ghost had me passing by. Mm -hmm. So I thought. The guidance council of the room. Huh. And this young girl was huh, manifesting with all these symbols. And they had took four or five to hold her down. And she began to talk in this unknown voice. Huh, speaking huh, like a man and this was a 13 year old girl and all them were praying praying and then they called for Apostle Rodney Roberts that's how I met him he came there and he began to be do deliverance and I was right there as a young Christian and as a teacher at the school watching deliverance and he called that spirit up and they said what's your name and they called him my name is and they said the name and he said how did you get here and he began to talk to the demon spirit and this young girl in the school me and a few others were in the room Madeira, my cousin, that was her close friend. So she could validate this for you. And Apostle Ronnie began to cast that demon out. And they said, now call, because it was school, they said, call an ambulance and take her to the hospital. And as he was walking out, Apostle Ronnie, I ran behind him and I said, oh, what, what happened there? What is this? And he began to tell me about deliverance. He said, and he began to prophesy, he said, something about you, we got to connect. And I said, yeah, I can connect with you. Give me a number, where to find you. That is how I met him. I met him in 2000 in a deliverance session that, thank God, how many of God is assigned one and miracle? If I didn't walk past that room, the Holy Ghost had me walk past the room right when he came in to go in that room to see what was happening. And he came with another pastor who was there, who was the, uh, the nurse of the school, um, Clara Thompson. I think she died and went to be with the Lord last year. Jeffrey Wood, Reverend Wood in Nassau, is still alive. And Bishop, that is how I met him. In my eyes, too, the word of God became so real. Everywhere the Bible said Jesus cast out devils, I have no doubt about believing in Amen. devils. Amen. And guess what God did? Connected me with him, and I went a couple times under the tent where he was in the grove. And he prophesied and ministered to me. And I kept his number on him. And I went off to school, the medical school in Trinidad. I called him, emailed him from time to time. And when I was coming back, the Lord said, tell him you're coming to join now. It took me a few months. And from then to now, then he became my pastor. I went to the church. Then I went into the deliverance ministry sessions in five watches. I saw demons getting cast out of people. And I said, this Jesus yeah. is real. Yes. This Bible is real. Yes. Not a word of it is a lie. Every single thing in this Bible is real. Yes. Not only back then when Jesus lived, but I saw it in my own two eyes. It's a medical doctor. And it doesn't contradict with the word of God. I saw stuff. And we began to be, I began to be on the deliverance team. And I began to see supernatural miracle people delivered. Mm -hmm. Demons coming out. People being healed. Mind regulated, transformed, change. And I began to be introduced to the supernatural. Amen. And I was on the delivery. And God sent me in. We're coming to a cool soul. Just stick with me. 
And then I came here and the Lord told me to keep preaching, teaching. And woman of God, you remember, we got Mark Knowles here one year, Bishop Mark Knowles, and he began to do deliverance and show us deliverance right here. And it was packed. You saw that picture of the young lady manifest. He began to do deliverance and teach us on the power of God and the power of deliverance. We got tapes of this and that. We began to get hungry for deliverance. And hey, when I went to Nassau on a trip, told the deliverance leader who at the time was past the van, I said, bring the deliverance team. And Bishop released them to bring the deliverance team. You remember that element? Yeah. And we spent three, four days. He taught us deliverance. Yeah. We went through deliverance. He taught us deliverance. And we left the power. God fell on us for deliverance. <coughs> Woman of God, remember, we started moving in the power of deliverance. So people were getting delivered. They would come through those doors. And demons would come out. Yeah. We sat them in session, and when we first started, it took a while. After a while, we called them spirit up. Uh, hallelujah. Night after night, uh, week after week, uh, people were being delivered. Some of the people I saw around, hallelujah, uh, uh, some who were going here, they ain't here today. Delivered! All kind of folk. This one bring a whole family. That one brought their whole family. That one bring their child, their son, their daughter. Hallelujah. Now they're here. Uh, the deliverance was taking 